come to those workouts prepared to you know, give it your best and hit the splits. You know, fitness is fitness, strength is speed. That's kind of our approach to training. Someone will take off their shirt and then it won't look too matchy-matchy at some point. Um, for me, like I picked up running because I just was too small for everything else. Like I wasn't built for the sports I like grew up loving, like basketball, baseball, football. I just wasn't, didn't have the build for it. So I pick up running my freshman year of high school and it didn't like immediately take off. Like some people like talk about how they're like just immediately like super successful. Right. It was the following cross country season, my sophomore year, where I kind of realized that I I could I could be pretty good. I ran varsity that year. Our team was pretty solid, uh, competing for state championships. And then uh, in that track season, I got top five at state in the 3200. And so that was when I was like, okay, like I could probably get a scholarship. And that was uh, obviously like that's when you're in high school. That's all you can think of is like, oh, getting to the next level. And then uh, it, eventually, I end up choosing to go to BYU and. And when I got there, again, it wasn't an immediate like success story. I got my butt kicked for for like the first probably 18 months I was on the team. But then came an indoor season. I uh, I started running really well. I broke 14 that indoor season, and then I made it to outdoor nationals as a redshirt freshman. As Rory Linkletter, the BYU sophomore, finishing second at his Navy's Lucas. I was like, oh, maybe I could be a professional runner. And I think I'm still on the adjustment period of pro running i haven't had that like next phase of breakthroughs but i'm hoping that i follow the pattern of like you know fail a little bit and then have a nice breakthrough on the other side of that <laughs> luckily at byu i was able to be around guys like jared ward uh who you know 2016 olympian he's been top 10 at new york top 10 at boston and he was kind of one of my role models while i was at byu and he was running marathons and so i kind of took an interest in the marathon uh, earlier than most runners probably do. Like, I think most collegiate runners don't really think about the marathon, but I was like, this event is super sick. I want to try it right after college. And I uh, just happened to be graduating in 2019, uh, the year before an Olympic uh, Games. I just kind of was like, I think I have a chance to make the team in the, in the marathon, so let's give it a crack. I, I've never trained anywhere at sea level. The longest I've ever even been at sea level is probably like two weeks, my entire life. Like I've been at, I've been at altitude for my entire life. I was born at 4,000 feet or just under in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, I, like you said, I went, went to high school at around 5,000. I went to college around 5,000, moved right here around 7,000. And it's funny because I have teammates, obviously, that either went to college at, at sea level or grew up at sea level and they, they come like go home for a week and then come back and they're like, oh, I'm adjusting to the altitude. I was like, I've never adjusted to altitude. Like, I, I just don't know what that is. This isn't a, a question that we had written down, but do you feel like it's a much more high pressure environment as a pro as opposed to in college? Only because, uh, you know, when you run professionally, you are running to make a living mm -hmm. and uh, you're not gonna like, I don't I don't know, like you, you have to make it worth all of the time and like putting off real life like to me like this is living the dream so like i'm really happy with what i'm doing i'm not like waiting for the next phase but uh i definitely feel like professional running you can't help but kind of think about like well i'm trying to make a living i'm trying to support my family i'm trying to uh set myself up for the future and this is valuable like time that you know i could be spent spent developing a career elsewhere so i got to make it count I'm not one lacking in confidence. I definitely didn't like come in like super timid, uh, but I respected like the event, the marathon. I was nervous as, as all get out uh, for my first marathon because there was so much uncertainty and I was nervous about uh, joining a new team because I was so comfortable in Provo, tr training under Coach Eyestone, being with BYU. But I was also really excited because I had been following Hoka Northern Arizona Elite for several years on social and I kind of like, saw what they stood for and what they believed in and I was really excited by it and I always loved Hoka just because 
Um, I worked in a running store in college in the summers and I was like, these shoes are sick. And I think I'm just getting to the point where Flagstaff feels like home. My team feels like family and uh, I trust my coach. And I know that like, this is where I need to be. That was tough from the start, honestly. But give me a tempo any day of the week. <laughs> I know, I know. She'll drag tempo. my ass. <laughs> So it's actually always had my eyes set on um, going to college in um, the UK and I actually got injured and the like medical setup in the UK just isn't as advanced as I feel like it is in the US, especially collegially. Um, and New Mexico just reached out, their head coach Joe Franklin reached out and just said basically, oh we can get you an MRI really quickly, just come over um, for like the first year and you know, see how it goes. And I was in such a YOLO attitude at the time, so I was injured and just like kind of depressed about being injured, that I was just like, fine. <laughs> um, so I went to New Mexico just so randomly and yeah, I ended up loving it there and it was the perfect setup for me, so I was very fortunate that that kind of attitude paid off. <laughs> Allison, whatever you have, is it gone? Um, we'll find out today. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. So my first year, I actually had quite a shocker of a year. Um, I always call it my my social networking year. It was my freshman year. I I was just a disaster of an athlete. Um, and I actually went back that summer and I was like, Alice, like you might lose your scholarship if you don't like buck up a bit here. And then I came back like pretty different um, from my sophomore year and that's when things started to fall into place and that's when I kind of started to think that a professional running career might be an option for me at the end. I was talking to a couple different coaches and agents and just trying to like get a feel for what the right setup might be for me. Um, I knew I didn't want to leave altitude and so NAZ Elite like was higher than Albuquerque, 7,000 compared to around 5,000 Albuquerque so that um, you know, that was a big thing for me. And Albuquerque to Flagstaff was actually more of a shock to me than I thought it would have been. Um, I do think there's a big difference between five and 7,000 feet. Um, and there's been a lot of adjustments that I've had to make um, training wise, how I run my easy runs and my expectations for workouts um, and, and recovery as well in Flagstaff compared to, to Albuquerque. You can get away with a lot more at 5,000 feet than you can at 7,000 feet. He was chasing me. <laughs> and I got a head start. <laughs> So our like motto, I guess, is like train hard, race fearlessly, which I do think stands um, stands very true to like our team. Um, we do train really hard. Um, I'd say it's like hard days hard and easy days easy. That's like our kind of uh, or like Ben's like coaching philosophy and really mine as well, to be honest with you. Um, and I've learned that the hard way. And then when it comes to racing, um, you know, we we often discuss this. It's like we don't want to be labelled as like a second tier team and we really want to be um, winning these races and you know second kind of just like isn't good enough your first loser if you're second I've been second in like my fair share of races um, and obviously you've got to compete to like the best of your ability on that day but we're definitely looking to like win championships and not just like not be there for the experience um, I always joke it's like it's not the taking part it's the winning so <laughs> I've like always had that kind of attitude and I think that that's something that like rings true on our team as well